I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to solve angle geometry with algebra. Now, when it comes to solving angle geometry with algebra, oftentimes you're uh, asked to find the missing parts uh, with the geometry ideas and using algebra equations to solve them. Now, some of the most common places that you'll end up doing a lot of this stuff is in the study of angles, where we're looking at complementary as well as supplementary angles. Now, complementary angles are angles that whose sum is going to give you 90 degrees. So typically speaking, if you have a right angle and you're splitting it up into two separate angles, you might have x, for example, and then let's just say 3x as an illustration. So a typical equation would be 3x plus x equals 290 degrees. And what you want to do is solve for x. So you have 4x is equal to 90, divide by 4. So x is going to equal to 90 over 4, which reduces to 45 over 2, or 22 and a half. Now, for supplementary angles, it involves taking a straight line, which is 180 degrees, and splitting that into two parts. So you might have, for example, x, and then let's just say 5x plus 1, for, just as an illustration. So the idea here is because you know that they'll add to give you 180, you're just taking the two angles, and at and setting an equal to 180 degrees and then solve it in a very similar way that you did up here. Now, another scenario perhaps would be in triangles where you might be asked to solve equations involving the angles of a triangle. So if you have, let's just say, x, x plus 10, and then let's just say 2x, so just as a hypothetical, what you're doing is because you know all the angles of a triangle add to give you 180, you're setting all these angles together and setting it equal to 180. And once you solve for x, just plug in the number in place of x, and then you'll find the measures of the triangle. So those are just a few illustrations in terms of how angle geometry is used in algebra. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to solve angle geometry with algebra.